Adam, uh, I guess you were looking for a reaction from Saturday and by heck you got it, didn't you? Yeah, we were very disappointed with um, ourselves on Saturday as a collective group. Um, I think we all, all went away and evaluated um, our performance um, and we, we didn't think we attained the levels we want to set this year. So um, thankfully this game came around quite quickly because I think of the poor performance you'd always like to be playing um, as quick as you can to just put, the, to put things right. So um, we were pleased with the game. Um, tonight and we knew it was going to be a tough test. So you changed the shape slightly, is that right? You went to a 4-4-2? Four, four, that... It was more of a 4-2-3-1. We had a few okay. personnel. Um, Lewis Knight was away. Harvey Brand was um, struggling with an ankle injury. So we, we assessed what we had within the group and we thought um, the system change might best suit us for tonight. And, and in truth, I think it worked quite well. Yeah, Bradley and Tom seem to look after their really quick wingers quite nicely. I thought it was second half. The first half in particular, I thought it was high quality football from both sides. Yeah, I think for the level of the step four football, I felt the endeavour of both teams to try and get the ball down and, and pass um, was a real credit to the to the league. And, and for someone that I've predominantly spent um, a lot of my time at um, a higher level in Essex, um, so this level's um, the Kent side of this step four is new to me, and I thought the, the level of football was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Talk me through that uh, Danny Parish goal. Yeah, well, it was. I think it was. Uh, we were just saying in there the, the period of play leading up to it was was really really um, top level, and um, I think it accumulated with a lovely. Uh, step over from Lamray on the edge and, and Connor put a, um, a really tantalising crossing that you want your forwards to be getting in there and Danny was um, for his small stature he's quite good in the area well he tells us that anyway and mm -hmm. um, they got up well and finished it oh, well. Superb we all enjoyed it and uh, I felt a bit sorry for Jacob these things happen I guess and I'm just so pleased that uh, Tom Carls did that run right at the end there to, so it didn't really matter in the end did it? Yeah yeah look Jacob, Jacob's a key player for us and yeah. um, and um, unfortunately, when you play in goal, any mistakes get punished. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, um, it, it happened. I think it, um, it was, I felt a little bit deflated because I thought we worked really hard oh, to get yeah. our goal and, and then they scored relatively um, soon after. So it kind of just brought the game back to life. I think it spurred them on a little bit. Yeah. Were we deflated? What was our reaction going to be? But I think the boys um, kept on going and then obviously they went down to 10 men and sometimes that can be even harder to break teams down. But I think that's when we, re we really matured and uh, maybe the difference from Saturday was um, when the team was sitting deep, we, we didn't rush it, we looked for the right passes and we were a bit more patient. And, um, and through that um, endeavour, we were able to create a chance at the end, which we were able to score for. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, Adam, I mean, you've been with the squad now for what? It's not even two months yet, is it? Really? Yeah. Um, how long do you think it will be until you've got the squad exactly where you want it? Or will it, will it ever? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, look, we've got we've got lots of attributes we like in in that in, in the team uh, at the moment. Um, there's a real togetherness, um, and we've got to be very careful to keep hold of that. Now, um, as as the season progresses, we'll see as we as, how we're doing as a group, and if we can put performances in like this, um, the group will stay together. If 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 there's um, performances drop away and maybe the points, um, we're not collecting the points we'd like to be or where we want to achieve in the league, then maybe there's new faces in. But Kev's a very loyal manager. He likes to give um, players um, equal opportunity yeah. to, to deliver for a club. He doesn't have a high turnover of players, which I think is really rare as managers at this level. And um, I think by doing that, he creates a real good togetherness in the dressing room. And, and I think tonight, when you looked out there, I think you saw a team that were ready to run for each other and fight for each other. And, yeah, and I think at this level of football, that can get you, um, that can ser serves you well. Yeah, no. Well, on to the big Kent derby on uh, Bank Holiday Monday now. So, Hive, always a good good match. But after tonight, fantastic. Really well played. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.